welcome to 31 Days of Tarot. This is day two, my top five tarot decks of 2018. First off is the Bohemian Gothic Tarot third. No, this is the first edition, I'm sorry. I have the second and third edition. First edition, I acquired this one on eBay. Won it with a bid and it was the most amazing deck. It's probably my favorite for the backs. <laughs> it's just the best deck. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, it's my favorite. So Bohemian Gothic Tarot. Um, the next one is the Moon Power Tarot by Charlie Quintero. This one was an Etsy purchase, so um, you could still find it on Etsy. I really enjoyed this deck because of the whole starseed alien vibe that it gave. These are the card backs. And the imagery is absolutely out there. I mean, it is so different from what you're used to seeing. Um, it is so galactic and just so cute and fun. Um, it's just different. It is, it is not like any other deck that I have. So that's the Moon Power Tarot. And I will list all of the decks that I show you guys in the description box so you can have information on where you could find them. Or most of them, like, this one's out of print now, but, you know. Next was the Moon Child Tarot. This one I had been waiting years for it to come out. Um, and it was finally available for pre-order in March, I believe. So I jumped on that and I already own the Star Child Tarot. So if you love that deck, you're going to love the Moon Child. This one has more of like an Egyptian vibe. The color scheme is a little bit different. It's more like gold tones, but <laughs> how can you not love that? Look at how gorgeous. It's very like collage but it's done in a really nice way. And then there's also like actual photos of like real people. So I don't know if you guys are into that kind of thing. I don't mind it. I actually like it. But I just find this deck to be really nice. I actually connected with this one much better than I did with the Star Child. So that is the Moon Child Tarot. Next is the Golden Rider. This is the French edition. Um, I obtained this one um, from Elise when she was selling all of her decks. Um, and I was really happy to to, <laughs> to snag this one because she was selling it for a really, really, really amazing price. Um, and I had been wanting this one. So it's a Rider weight deck, but the colors are, are more gold and the artwork is just a little bit different. It's But it's all the same imagery. But as you could tell, the colors are very, very, very different. It was just absolutely... I couldn't pass this one up <laughs> and it doesn't bother me that it's in French I mean I think when you know tarot enough it doesn't really matter what language it's in because you already know what the cards are so that is the golden writer and then last but not least is the antique anatomy tarot this is the ephemera edition um, this is by the same creator as the um, Oracle of oddities that you guys have probably seen me use tons of times <laughs> um, and so and also the Compendium of Constellations and the Ar um, Arcana of Astrology, like all of those decks. But I love the aesthetic of like skulls and flowers. I think it's beautiful. So definitely, this is definitely going to be a fun deck to work with in the fall. And yeah, I believe... Actually, I'm not sure if this one's still available on her website, but I will still link it anyway. But yeah, you guys, these are my top five decks for 2018. These are the ones that I purchased that are probably my most favorite, but definitely Bohemian Gothic Tarot First Edition was probably the most exciting find that I had. <laughs> and anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow for day three.